today i'm going to show you guys how to create a dynamic and stylish instagram story animation into after effects i am nick hill from dope motions and without any further ado let's get started all right so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do i'm gonna call this main story you can of course call it whatever that you want for the width i'll go with 1080 and for the height i'll go with 1920 make this 60 fps 10 seconds should be good enough so there we have our main composition let's create one more composition for our media placeholder so i'm going to call this media underscore oh one where we can drag and drop any image or video that we that we want to use as a story so hit ok and i can drag in my first image right here scale that down a bit so it fits the complete composition let's duplicate this media so hit ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate it and double click to open that up and let's drag in our image two let's delete the image one and scale this down just like so okay now let's go back into the main story and then I can drag in my image one. So let's drag in the media, actually the media one composition, not image one. And let's animate this. So first of all, let's hit F4 and I'll make some room right here. So let's add a background really quick. Hit Control Y to create a new solid called this PG for background. I'm going to keep it white and you can then add any color that you want. I can add a gradient ramp on this. And for this one, I'll go with a nice blue color. And for the bottom one, I'll go with a nice purple color. But you can, of course, choose any color that you like. All right. Now onto the media, I'm going to use an effect called CC Grid, Grid Wipe. And this is going to help us to create some very interesting effect. I can just reverse the transition. And as you can see, we have this really interesting animation. You can also play around with the border if you want to. Also with the tiling so you can increase or decrease the size of the small, you know, cubes that we have. So I'll keep it at around maybe eight. That looks good. And now I can animate this. All right. So I'll go to around one second and 30 frames. Click on the stopwatch of completion when it is set to zero. Go back in time. Let's set this to 100. All right. Hit U. So we have a very simple animation as you can see. Let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease the keyframe. So now you can see we have this really nice and simple animation. Now let's select the media comp, hit S to bring down the scale property, create a keyframe. I'll go to around maybe 30 frames and let's set this to around 150. Then select the keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor. Now, if your graph editor is not looking like this, then right click and select edit speed graph. Select this point and drag the handle holding shift. So we have an interesting zoom out animation. As you can see, looks very interesting. Then I can add a transform on this and scale this up. So create a keyframe on the scale property. I'll go to around, let's say maybe five seconds and scale this to 1110. So we have a little bit of scaling animation throughout the story. That's that looking very good. Maybe I'll select this and hit U so we can see just the keyframes and drag the transform scale keyframe at the very beginning. Let's see. Yep, that is looking much better. I want this to start from here. So I'll select the scaling keyframe on this one, actually. So I'll select the scale keyframe on the transform and go into the graph editor again. Let's drag this at the very beginning and also pull this handle right here. So let's see what we have. So, yep, maybe a, that is a bit too much. I'll drag it around somewhere there. So yeah, that is much subtle and looks pretty good. Okay, that is looking good. 
Now what I'm going to do is let's select the media composition layer, hit control D and then I can displace this a bit. All right. And on the bottom one, I can add a gradient ramp. So I'll just copy the background gradient ramp, hit control C and control V to paste that up and then swap the colors. So I'll just go right down here and swap it up. So now you can see we have this really interesting look into the cubes as you can see looks very interesting to me then i can create one more copy hit ctrl d and then move these two copies a bit forward in time let's select this hit ctrl v to add the same gradient i can also add a fill basically but i just choose to go with a gradient and now you can see we have a very interesting transition using some very simple technique so yeah, I think this is looking very nice. Now let's go ahead and select the rectangle tool from the shape layers and the fill is set to a linear gradient. Hit OK and we don't need any stroke. I'm going to set this to zero and just double click on this rectangle tool. So it's going to create a rectangle just like that with a linear gradient wipe linear gradient, not a linear gradient wipe. And I can move this point wherever I want to create a gradient that I want to create. So let's go into the shape layer gradient fill edit gradient. So now these two properties control the color stop of the gradient and these two properties control the opacity stop of the gradient. So I don't want any opacity in the white section of this gradient. So I can select this and set the opacity to down to zero. Then I can select the black one and then I can add any color that I wish to add. So I'm going to go with a nice blue, maybe a darker blue color, more punchy looking. Let's pull this a bit down. So now you can see we have this really nice gradient at the bottom. I'm going to call this G underscore O one for gradient O one. And I guess I'll just go with this gradient and pull this one a bit down just like that. Select this hit control D to duplicate it, rotate it by hitting R on the keyboard and then I'll set this to 180 degrees and I can change the color to whichever color that I like. So I'll select the layer, hit U two times on the keyboard to reveal all the properties, go into the edit gradient and then I can select this and go with a nice purple color. Just like so, maybe I'll pull this up a bit. Just like that. Okay, so that is looking great, simple and nice. So let's see what we have. This really simple animation. Let's animate the gradients as well. So I'll go to two seconds, select the gradient, hit P to bring down the po position properties, create a keyframe, go back to maybe at the very beginning. Let's go at the very beginning, select this layer and I'll move this out, select this one and I'll move this out. So we have a pretty basic gradient animation. As you can see, let's select the gradients and hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's pull this just a touch. So we have this really nice gradient animation as you can see. Now the gradient is looking pretty flat at the moment. So what I can do is really quick, create a new adjustment layer Call this CC for color correction. Add a sharpen first of all to this and I'll set this to around 25. And then I'll add a curves just to make the colors pop a bit, just like that. So as you can see, this is looking much more funky and punchy, you see before and after. So that is pretty good. Let's go ahead and animate our text, which is one of the coolest part of this tutorial. So I'll select the text tool and I'm going to type in the same text that is walk out in style. So walk out. First of all, this is our first text. Let's increase the size. By the way, I'm using the Montessorat font. You can, of course, use any of your favorite font that you like. So here we have our text. Let's pre-comp the text. So hit Control Shift C to pre-compose it. I'll call this text underscore 01. Hit OK. Let's go into the text com and now we can animate this. So to animate this, what I can do is go into the properties, click on this animate icon and let's add a position property. And again, I'm going to add an opacity property. 
bring the opacity down to zero bring the position down to 200 all right now you don't see anything happening because let's animate the offset and now we should have a really interesting animation so let's set this to 100 i'll go to around one second and 30 frames looks good to me create a keyframe on the offset go back to zero and let's set this to minus 100 then go into advanced let's set the shape from square to ramp up increase the easy high to 100 and easy low to around let's go 60 or something like that and now we have this really simple yet interesting looking text animation just so quick there we go looking pretty good now what i can do is select the text hit ctrl shift c again to pre-compose it let's call this title underscore o1 and move all attributes hit ok let's go into the title o1 so we have the pre-comp of our text and now what i can do is hit ctrl d to duplicate the text okay and let's create actually one more copy let's pull this a bit back in time and let's add a fill to this i'll keep it a nice blue color just so that it goes along with our theme nothing really crazy but now if i hit f4 and change the track mat of this one to alpha mat we have a very interesting look as you can see then i can select this two these two layers hit ctrl d let's displace them a bit and now i can set this back to white so now we should have an interesting looking text animation as you can see so it's very simple to create but looks very interesting but we are not done yet so let's select this bottom one hit ctrl d two times to create a copy let's select just these two layers and i can change the color just so that you know you can see it more properly i'll pull them a bit back or down and then change the track mark of this one to alpha inverted select this and now you using the arrow keys i can just just move it a bit down and a bit to the left oh bit to the right so now we get kind of an outline just on one side of our text just like so now as you can see this looks very interesting i can play around with this you know try to create a really interesting look and already our text is looking very interesting let's select this layers and bring actually let's select this one and let's bring this back and now we have a very interesting and complex looking text animation but it is absolutely simple to create as you saw so there we have our text one walk out all right so now let's select the title one hit control d to duplicate it so we have title two also select the text one and hit control d so we have text two then I'll go into the title 2 and this is very important so just listen and follow carefully so go into title 2 select all the text 1 and then select the text 2 right over here hold alt and just drag and drop it so it's going to replace it now I can go into the text 2 and then I can replace it with any text that I want so walk out I'll type it in style so let's drag in the title 2 right here and just touch and there we go so it's pretty simple and looks very interesting so walk out in style now let's place them a bit forward in time so as you can see we have this really nice text animation as well so there we have our text animation also i'm going to add some hashtags right here so i can go into the text just copy this hit ctrl c let's go ctrl v pull this bit back and i'll move it right over here i'm gonna type in hashtag fashion make this really small make something like that ctrl d pull this right here and hashtag modern then i can displace them a bit in time and now we have this really interesting look maybe a bit more yep that is 
looking very nice i'll go into the file project setting let's set this to gpu accelerated so it works a bit more faster okay so let's check out our complete animation once yep i think the animation turned out very nice simple and interesting looking yep that is looking good now let's say i want to add more images and more you know videos i have so more than one actually what i mean is so i'll go to four seconds or something like that and select the media one hit control d to duplicate it bring this on the top let's place it right here and then i'll select this three media select the media to right here and hold alt and just replace them by dragging and dropping it so now we have our second image so it's that simple and that easy to create more and more cool instagram stories so all in all i hope this simple tutorial was helpful to you and if it was make sure to subscribe comment and like the video like the tutorial share it with your friends and why not i mean it's amazing also make sure to subscribe to my vlogging channel life looks like i'll mention the link down in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative peace out Thank you.